Thai YouTubers selling porn, selling kind of damn porn. So, this cigar gang right now. So, nice bit of motherfuckers cigar gang. So, V for motherfuckers right now. So, uh, guy talk video 140, pretty fucking cool. It's pretty fucking amazing. So, uh, V for motherfuckers right now. Nice big ass motherfuckers like the big ass cigar. So, uh, cigar gang roll call motherfuckers. Nice big ass motherfuckers like the big ass cigar. So, uh, anyway, question is a question for you motherfuckers right now, which basically is essentially uh, this question for you motherfuckers is uh, when's the last time you had a one night stand? So, uh, what is a one night stand first off? Uh, a one night stand is when you meet somebody at like a club, like a titty bar, you know, that kind of crap, you know, or you meet somebody like a porn store or any kind of store in general, any kind of establishment in general. You come home to your place and you have sex. So it doesn't matter if you have vaginal sex, doesn't matter if you have anal sex, doesn't matter if you have uh, fingering, doesn't really fucking matter. Doesn't matter if she gives you a blowjob, you know, a fucking blowjob, you know, doesn't really fucking matter. So Basically, essentially, uh, anytime you meet somebody who's not your girlfriend, you know, quote unquote girlfriend or quote unquote boyfriend, um, basically, essentially, uh, anytime it's not a considered relationship, you know, it's just a one time thing, you know, you go home, you fuck, you know, she gives you a blowjob or you give him a blowjob or, you know, you stick your pecker in his asshole, you stick your pecker in her pussy, you know, and essentially the next day, you know, he or she leaves and you don't continue the re relationship. That's considered a one night stand. And I'm just curious, motherfuckers, you know, how many of you do this uh, shit? You know, when's the last time you did this shit? It's like, you know, as in bullshit, as bullshit, you know, uh, you know, personally, I've never had sex myself. I've never had a one night stand, a fucking one night stand. So I really can't speak personally, you know, but I know a lot of you motherfuckers have had one night stands. It's like, you know, uh, now some motherfuckers are not big fans of, you know, having sex with strangers because uh, honestly, you have to be fucking careful. I knew some people a while back who, um, or I knew a person a while back who used to do this shit. It's like, you know, not gonna mention the person's name, their fucking name. It's like, you know, but obviously I knew somebody who used to do this shit. It's like, you know, and honestly, not everybody's into this shit, you know. First off, you gotta be fucking careful. You gotta fucking wear protection every single time. You gotta put that uh, rubber on your dick, your pecker, you know, because your cock, it's like, you know, or, you know, put a diaphragm in your pussy. It's like, you know, because honestly, it's like, you know, uh, you have no clue who the hell, you know, what, what the hell's in the woman's pussy or the guy's, you know, dick, his peck or his cock. It's like, you know, because, uh, you know, when you're having sex with people who are strangers, it's like, you know, uh, you, you have no clue. It's like, you know, they could have crabs, they could have herpes, they could have uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, uh, HIV. It's like, you know, you want to be fucking careful. It's like, you know, it's strongly, 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 strongly recommended that you make sure you use protection if you're having, you're having one night stands. It's like, you know, also it's not great in general because it increases the number of sexual partners you've had. It's like, you know, it's not a great thing to get into. I wouldn't encourage it. I wouldn't glorify it in any way, shape, or form. But I mean, some people like it. It's like, you know, meeting somebody at a titty bar or meeting somebody at like a strip club and coming home and fucking, you know, giving a blowjob, that kind of crap, that kind of shit, you know. It's like, some people like it. It's like, you know, I personally wouldn't be into it myself because I wouldn't want to have sex with strangers. It's like, you know, not really really my cup of tea. It's like, you know, I mean, some people like it. Also, like I said, you gotta be fucking careful of STDs, STDs, STIs, and HIV. Another thing you gotta be very careful of, especially if you're not in a over 21 establishment or over 18 establishment, is making sure the people who you're having sex with are at least over 18 or whatever the legal consent is in your state. Because that is a big fucking problem. You wanna be fucking careful you're not having sex with somebody who's jail bait. It's like, you know, because, yeah, that would not be fucking good. You can get into a lot of fucking bullshit that way. It's like, you know, as in bullshit is bullshit. You you know, you do not want to be having sex with somebody and find out, you know, two weeks later they were, you know, 15 or 16. It's like, you know, because that would be fucking bad. It's like, you know, you go click, click, you go to jail. It's like you go to the pokey. It's like, you know, yeah, very fucking bad. And a lot of people have gotten in big fucking shit for that. It's like, you know, it's in bullshit, it's bullshit. So anyway... The whole bottom line is, when you're having one night stands, you want to be fucking careful if you fucking do this shit. It's like, you know, I mean, not everybody's into it. I wouldn't be into myself. I wouldn't want to take the risk myself. It's just not something I'd really be into. So, but if, but some people are into it. I mean, give me your thoughts. Are you into it? And when's the last time you had a one night stand, if ever, you know? When's the last time you had one, if ever? So, anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye. Bye, motherfuckers. Bye, motherfuckers. Bye.